Okay, what is up guys? I'm back with another video and today we're gonna be playing some more. This is the police and today we're on day 11. Uh, hopefully this is recording right now. I checked it and it did, but let's hope it doesn't stop. Okay, so Mayor Rogers displeased with police department. Rogers is responding f um, for Freeburg DP breakdown. Mayor Rogers, I will bring the order. Okay, so basically nothing good and let's hope our order from the um, I think it was the City Hall got accepted thing I've no no I pressed the wrong thing uh, my brother just I uh, was just hit by a car she's been rushed to the hospital and fighting for her life okay I didn't want to send out the guy but I guess it doesn't matter really so let's hope our our requests got accepted if only half of them if not then screw city hall I think it's because I've done all the mafia stuff here so um, cutting budget. Oh yeah, fucking great. Uh, empty slot. Oh yeah, fucking great. Great. Oh, n not even one thing. Are you kidding me? What did I do? Just the mafia things? Oh, s so you're telling me I should get killed by the mafia? Oh, and then there is no police officers. Huh? Okay, Bill Buckler reported that two unidentified men snuck onto his farm and set fire to the barn. As the call came, the two criminals were attempting to gain entry to the house, okay? So I think, um, one, two, is that, is that four, fifty? Yeah, that's definitely not enough. How much, I guess that could work. Yeah, okay. Um, just opening a drink. Okay, so we should get better with City Hall, hopefully. Uh, I'm not gonna... Uh, I actually don't know. Uh, if I don't help them, like if I uh, tend to their calls, then they're obviously gonna kill me. There are no signs of the criminal near the house. The front door has been broken down and shadows lurk inside. Go to the back door, come out with your hands up, go through the front entrance. Offender caught, officers unharmed, okay, that was easy. Uh, theft everyday mall, a drug addict entered to hide and uh, attempted to hide an expensive bottle of liquor under his jacket. When he was caught, he began to throw fit. Throw a fit, okay. Just one cop. <clears throat> okay. Not that many calls as yesterday. Which were very annoying. And I kind of screwed up with the Mafia. So let's hope that little thing doesn't... Isn't gonna get me killed. <clears throat> Jack boys, one of our new guys, tried to rape our accountant. We locked him up in a hotel room, but he's threatening to hand the whole organization over to the police. Uh, okay, so... I hope he's coming back. I don't want to do these, but the Mafia... I want to be good with them rather than City Hall. I mean, City Hall is on my ass the whole time. Mafia, I, I guess I can control that a little more. Mafia assignment, oh god, 1000? No, fuck no. I, I just I just did the, the complete opposite of what I said. Was it 39? I don't remember. <laughs> okay. Uh, parking lot. A woman reports that she saw a skinhead attacking a dark-skinned valet, striking him around the legs, yelling, I'll beat you till you're dead, freak. No shit, I'm gonna do it. She believes uh, she saw a pistol sticking out of the skinhead's belt. Um, is that enough? Uh, okay, so we have three cops, that's good enough. Let's see if this call goes well. So 18, oh, I don't think I have enough people for that. Oh god, please. Uh, I gotta refuse. I still don't get this name. Please don't die. 
Defenders, okay, police unharmed, that's good. Attempted murder, oh, actually that just takes three and nothing else, I guess. Ah, uh, I hate this, City Hall is gonna kill me. I already cut the budget, which is shitty enough. But, um, because I requested things yesterday, now I don't get anything, which is fucking perfect. The man just, uh, was just being placed on a stretcher when another shot rings out. This time the shooter finished the job. His firing position could not be determined, um, but the shots are clearly coming from the skyscraper. Carefully observe the area, rush the uh, skyscraper to the left, rush the skyscraper to the right. Oh. Observe the area. Okay. Okay, good. Perfect. Disappointed, I don't give a fuck. I hope he doesn't kill me. But I gotta get things straight with City Hall. Attempted robbery, okay. Eight-year-old Kevin is at home hiding under the bed. Unknown persons are gathered uh, outside the apartment door. Is that attempted robbery? I mean... Might just... Be people going around. Okay, so I think today's gonna end and well I'm gonna end the video then. So the video is gonna be short. Shorter, I guess. Sure, why not? I mean the day's almost over, so I guess why not? Why not? Let's just hope there is no crazy call right now. And then we'll get things straight with City Hall. City Hall, what is my salary actually? I wanna know what my salary was. Okay, good, so let's just hope that nobody died. Okay, looks good, perfect. Okay, that was an actual call. So let's end the day. And Okay, so, so that was it. That was probably one of the shortest videos I've done. In my new role as corrupt official, I had to give up some of my favorite habits. I couldn't turn off my phone when my head ached. Couldn't sleep till noon on Saturday and let the rest of HQ take up the slack. No more days off to go fishing. But my weekly visit to the old colony club was more like tradition. One night a week, I absorbed cigar smoke, the vague smell of alcohol, the stench of urine, all mixed with toxic levels of old drunken belches. Same picture it was 30 years ago. Tradition's got to be honored. And to stay faithful to the tradition, you've got to respect the standard rituals. When you're about to roll out of the club, you need to take a deep breath and count to a hundred. If your stomach doesn't do a backflip, you should be good to make it home. This time, I only got up to 60. I was interrupted. Why? You look even better than you do on TV. There's nothing more impolite than approaching people in the alley at the old colony. This is the most private place in the city. All who enter here dirty their shoes with the most elite stream of vomit in Freeburg. This asphalt has been blessed by judges, lawyers, artists, businessmen, and all our politicians. Takes a lot of balls to crash the party. My head was a drunken haze, but I knew who he was. A cartoon gangster suit straight out of Dick Tracy. Fancy voice, fruit cologne, sassy strut. That's how the newspapers described Vicus Varga rising star in Freeburg's criminal underworld. He appeared out of nowhere, and with the support of the local punks, Varga broke all the old rules of organized crime. He killed those who could not be killed, traded what could not be traded, and robbed those who could not be robbed. In just a single month, this man had gathered an incredible amount of power. He's been called everything from a clown to a madman to a criminal genius, and more often than not, he's called a low-class upstart short on ideas. But if Vargas was one of the old crime bosses, he'd have been cut into pieces and fed to the river. Look past this guy's arrogance, and there's something about him. 
The city is still deciding what to do with him. Meanwhile, he's burning down the houses of old city mobsters. Not the best time to talk, Mr. Varga. No, oh, you know my name. I'm flattered, although not very surprised, to be honest. I might be a little short on manners. Like they say in your fair city, with the right manners, you can go anywhere. Well, I don't want to go anywhere. I want to stay right here. Even the criminal world needs manners, Mr. Varga. And one of them is this. Don't interfere with a drunken cop who's trying to take a shit and puke at the same time. Oh, you exaggerate. But is Freeburg always so gentle with its officers? You've been a bit roughed up lately. I see you already know Freeburg quite well, Mr. Varga. Well, I love to learn and look around. But I do know that the inhabitants of this fair city should be friends, Jack. Maybe it's true I don't have the best manners. After all, it's only polite for friends to share their phone numbers. This city of yours moves so fast. I feel like I'm hooked on amphetamines all over again. You wake up in the morning full of ideas, and by nightfall, you've all had each other killed. So don't wait too long to call. I don't mind if you're drunk. It's all the more fun. I'll be stoned myself, most likely. Hell, I'm a little stoned right now. It's the only way to live in this place. I like your city, Jack. I'm here to stay. If it weren't for the phone number written on my arm, I probably wouldn't have remembered the conversation in the morning. But there was no reason to worry. I'd be getting a reminder soon. Okay, so that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed. The video was a bit longer than I thought because of the cutscene, but I still hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time, which won't be tomorrow and the day after because I'm going to be traveling a bit. But I'll be back. So, yeah. See you then.